Hey everyone, and welcome back to some more Solarization 6 as Coupe. So, when we last left off, I started removing some resources with Anansi, and I actually can still go with my original plan for the industrial zone, because I can remove the resource with Anansi. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I also do not need land surveyors anymore, because we are at zero gold at the moment. I also don't really need colonization right now because I'm not recruiting any settlers right now. We can move scripture up here and we could pick up something else. It's just that there's nothing in particular I need right now. It might actually not be a bad idea to just pick up urban planning for a few turns. I have a few cities with very low production. This will actually help. I also switched production to a water mill over here. This actually saved me one turn, because it was just at six turns, and now it's at five with urban planning. But yeah, this will give me the construction boost, which won't really save me a lot of time, but every turn counts. If I can get it, I will get it. So one last build on this guy. Let's just grab a mine here. There you go. And we are six turns away from the mausoleum. Doesn't look like there are any barbarian camps left up north. At least not on this side, unless it's to the northwest. What do you want? He wants a joint war against England. I have better things to do. You go ahead and do it yourself. I have much better things to do right now. Let's check trades real quick. Anyone buying? Yes, indeed. I still need the money. Unfortunately, nobody's buying horses, which is a little bit disappointing, but oh well. We are waiting to get 320 faith to faith by a settler, and then we can start a city over here with all this march. So that will take a few more turns. I can kill that slinger, no problem. Might as well get rid of him. Grab that sheep. Great, another barbarian scout. Did he come from here? I think so. It had to be from over here. I don't think I can catch him with my archer. That seems pretty unlikely. Ooh, natural wonder. That's not a bad one. That is definitely not a bad one. Did anyone settle it? No, they didn't. Okay, I definitely want to settle that. That's a pretty damn nice wonder. We should be able to do it. Now I might change my colonization plans. Once we fight by a settler in here, I think I'll send him east, actually, to get an natural wonder. That's a very nice wonder. And we can still get the marsh. I don't think anyone else will settle the marsh. That seems pretty unlikely. Especially since the AI is not very good at using the Bermuda Triangle to navigate this map. So, I definitely have an advantage there. I don't think we have to worry about the AI stealing that location. I will be very surprised. Divine Ride Boost, nice. And the military tactics. Alright, what is Anansi doing now? Yeah, he can harvest some of this stuff. Let's harvest the marble. You're not going anywhere. Stop. Wait, what? Yeah, cancel. <laughs> yeah, so remove the marble because I will not be settling a city over here myself. It would be very problematic in terms of loyalty. So the plan is to just remove everything because eventually AI might settle this. So this will give us feudalism and the feudalism will give me a boost. Actually, one more turn. That's fine. Then we'll remove the rice and move back north or something. Maybe remove a few more things. He just needs to have one build left before we go back here to remove the maze. So, Gordwara, eight turns. I need to try killing that scout. We can still go and try, but I don't know if I can catch him in time. I could get a unit for defense. I don't need one more archer for a Eureka. 
right here for machinery. We might as well grab one more archer then. Three more builds. Right, let's just get the farm here. Might as well. There you go. Three turns to finish water mill. Okay, let's take a look around here. I see some desert. Maybe this is a Petra city. There's not a lot of desert on this map. So I might still be able to build a Petra. If you are able to build a Petra, you should always build a Petra. It's the civilization law. <laughs> you are legally required to build a Petra if you are able to. Especially if there's a decent city for it. And this one is not the most amazing Petra location I've ever seen, but it's decent. Okay, do we want Serfdom right now? Because I'm not getting builders right now. I might be. I guess I might be, yeah. Okay, sure, Serfdom is fine. And we're keeping urban planning for one more cycle at least. Yes, we are. And obviously we're keeping scripture. Do I want to switch from Charismatic Leader to Diplomatic League? Yes, maybe I could. I could use that on Cardiff. Which is maybe not a bad idea. Let's do it then, it's fine. So we'll send one envoy to Cardiff, we'll get two. Okay. There you go, and then we'll switch back. Medieval Fairs will be next because I want to get exploration ASAP. I don't think I'll be boasting military training. That's not gonna happen. So we can actually prioritize mercenaries first, in case I'll want a professional army. But I'll need it at some point. I don't need it right now this moment, but we'll need it at some point. And we'll get an envoy as well. Now, okay, recruiting a builder in this city will take a while. We still got a bonus to any buildings built in a city center for 19 more turns. Let's keep taking advantage of that while we still have that. I might even build walls over here. It's only four turns. Let's build walls. There's no Valetta that we know of, so might as well build some walls. It will be useful in the future. Anyway, two more builds. I think I'll just improve this city. Might as well. So let's not lose the galley here. Yeah, this is still a pretty good spot for a city. We definitely want a city here. I'm thinking maybe over here. Now, I don't know too much about this spot. I don't know what else we got to the north. So I'll have to think about this. If I want Petra in here, I should settle closer to the east. Maybe this forest would be a little bit better in theory. This is not a plains hill, it's a grassland hill. On the other hand, I want to be in range of the marble. I don't think Petra matters that much. Also, there might be more desert to the north. We need to check what's to the north. Uh, okay, time to embark. I don't want to fight these guys. I'm pretty sure that scout will spawn a raid. Which means I might need to get a few units to defend myself with. Maybe get walls, just in case. I'll feel a little bit safer with walls. We'll see about that. Okay, so next up, let's remove the rice. That will give us education and military training. All right, then. We still got Maui for, okay, two more turns. That's not going to be helpful for anything, but he did his job. There's the promotion, nice. Let's move away from here. Pick up the promotion. That's Arrow Storm. And yep, mine. Might as well. Here you go. Water mill is almost done. That will give us the boost we want. Okay, and we're about to get the machinery boost, and we're about to finish the mausoleum. And Pingala will arrive in the capital in one turn. So this is 120 science, 110 culture. There you go, military training. And three more turns to finish education. I will not be getting an education boost, because we are nowhere close to getting a great scientist. We'll just finish it the regular way. How long until we get 10 population? 
Four more turns. Okay, we can get there pretty soon. We can do that after mercenaries. So mercenaries and then civil service. Because I want to get an alliance. Or two. Definitely at least one. Now we can switch back to charismatic leader. I'm keeping everything else in here. There you go, done. And no city is happy anymore. But that's fine, they are content. Yeah, I don't think there will be more desert to the north, but it's possible. Oh yeah, and we can fight by a settler now. I could have done it on the previous turn, actually. Alright, that's fine. Construction boost. That's from the water mill. Let's get that settler, shall we? And then I can probably fight by one more settler. We still got at least 26 more turns of monumentality. That's more than enough time. And let's actually bring this builder with one charge left with the settler. That will work nicely, yep. Yeah? Just to kickstart that city a little bit. Now, I don't think I want to chase that scout. I don't even know where he is. He's over here and there's a swordsman. Yeah, I don't think that will be happening. I'll just have to defend myself the regular way. Let's get walls because that's literally only two turns. If I get attacked by swordsmen, I will definitely need walls. No question about that. So, let's see. We got three more charges here. I could remove the fish and the crabs. We could remove the coffee. Again, just to deprive the AI of the luxuries. We still got 23 more turns on Anansi. We don't have to rush that much. I just have to get here with one charge left before he's gone. And we have plenty of time to do that. So let's just remove this coffee. There's the mausoleum, very nice. I love that wonder. Easily one of my favorite early game wonders is just so good. Next up, the lighthouse. And we'll finish the theater square. But let's get the lighthouse first, because I literally have a trader ready and waiting. Meaning we can use that trade route right away. Now, do we want an aqueduct in this city? Probably. We probably do, yes. Yes, we do. Because we can use it for a small bonus for the industrial zone. I also need to build one aqueduct to get a boost. Okay, yeah, let's build the aqueduct. I will need another builder or two in here. How much faith for a builder? 140. I might actually grab a builder here, especially since we got the Liang in this city. And I need more improvements over there. We can delay the settler a little bit. It's not the end of the world if the settler gets delayed slightly. And yeah, there's no way I can kill the scout before he alerts the barbarian camp. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. Okay, that's fine. It's okay, we'll just defend. It's not a big deal. It is the mark of an educated mind. There's education. I mean, technically, I could use Anansi to fight them, but he's a little bit busy, you know? Now, next up, we can get the buttress and then stirrups. I can't build a dam anywhere just yet. Yeah, actually, let's get construction first and then machinery. No, let's get machinery first, because then I can get a crossbowman to fight the barbarians. So machinery, construction, and then stirrups. I like that order. Mercenaries. Some progress towards civil service. Yes, that's fine. There we go. I don't think I want to switch my policies. Well, I could if we want to get that crossbowman. So we could actually pick up Professional army temporarily. Let's go with professional army for a few turns. We're keeping scripture and serfdom for obvious reasons. Now, let's see. Where's the archer? Here. Well, first we have to actually finish machinery. Let's do that. We can get a few turns towards civil service. Oh yeah, no, we will get 10 population literally on the next turn. Perfect. Now, I can't get started on the industrial zone yet, for obvious reasons. Let's get the aqueduct. 
might as well start working on that. I can get Cardiff right now. Sure, might as well, right? We have one harbor already. Not that it's a tremendously useful uh, city-state for me right now. But we'll still get plus one production in the capital for every city with a workshop building. So, sure. And I don't have a workshop yet, but we'll get it soon enough. So, anyway. There might be barbarians over here, so let's try to be at least a little bit careful. This is a pretty nice spot. Okay, I like this spot a lot. Yeah, see, there's a swordsman, as expected. I definitely need that crossbowman, and we're about to get him, so it's all good. I need two more turns to get him. Quick deals. Is anyone buying horses? Please buy horses. No? I guess not. Buy my iron, then. We won't really need it all that much. I need to get rid of that barbarian camp, but easier said than done. I'm a little bit busy with other things. Oh, yeah, but they started a city, or was this here earlier? Well, either way, they have a one-pop city here now. So that's fine. I could remove the stone before we leave. Yeah, and the macho. We could remove the stone, or we could just go north right away. He has two charges left. Let's just go north right away. We can go here and then teleport to the other city and remove the maze. And then I can remove some of the stuff to the north. I can also teleport to help fight the barbarians. I might actually do that. Because I think I'll need some help against them. It will take a crossbowman a while to do that. Right, so I think this spot is still good. I think that's going to be the best spot. Okay, so there's no desert to the north. But we have a lot of resources in the area. And if we settle right here, we will still be able to get a harbor. We will be out of range of the iron, but I think I have enough iron. You want to buy my sword? Sorry. It's not for sale. It's definitely not for sale. There's machinery. Now we can get the crossbowmen. So let's do that. Probably both of them. Yeah, both of them. That gives us metal casting. And I can actually promote the third one. Right here. Just to take advantage of the fact we have professional army right now. And then we'll switch it to something else after we finish civil service. Okay, granary is done. We still got the bonus for 13 more turns. Declare friendship and we'll get an alliance as soon as we are able to. Yes, yeah, so we still have a production bonus towards buildings in the city center. I think I'll just take advantage of that and build walls. Might as well, right? The game is suggesting the desert, but I think I like the hill more. I think I like the hill more. We'll have the rice in range, we'll have more land in general. We'll still have the fish in range. Settling here has no clear benefit other than getting the iron. And like I said, I don't care about the iron as much anymore, because we have enough. So I don't think the hill is actually objectively better, if I don't care about the iron. Okay, still 19 turns left, that's more than enough. This has been quite a fun game so far. I don't want your open borders. Let's just wait for our turn to make our own deal. Yeah, 59 gold, that's good. Shame nobody is buying horses anymore, but oh well. Hopefully we'll have Niter. We can reveal that pretty soon, actually. I am building the Archaeduct. So we will get the military engineering as soon as we are able to. Anansi was huge for me. I caught up so much thanks to Anansi. He's so good in the early game. So, in our capital, we can now get our unique building. Right here. That's quite a nice one. I will want to build theater squares elsewhere. 
But we got one so far. Walls, seven turns. Yeah, maybe. We could also get started on the harbor. That will take a while, though. Yeah, let's just take advantage of this bonus and get the walls. We might still get the barbarians attacking from the west. That's entirely possible. We did have a barbarian scout much earlier, moving in from the west. Okay, this is some really nice terrain around here. This is enough space for more than just one city. It definitely is. Okay, well, I can't attack him from here. Let's just go back here and wait for him to come closer. We're about to finish the Archeduct, so that will give us the boost. And we'll still get, what, 240 science from Anansi and 220 culture. The four building block there we go. More stuff. Alright, so let's just remove this fish, shall we? Do I want to remove anything else within my city borders? Let's check. So one charge will be used to remove the maze. I could also remove something up here if I want to. I could remove this one, for example. Again, if I want to. I'm not sure if I do, but these cities do not have too much space for districts. So I might actually want to remove this. And Anansi is the only possible way I got to remove that. Yeah, yeah, let's actually remove that. I'll probably want to pay faith to get Anansi again, because he's the only way I got to remove resources. And I might still want to remove some of them to make space for districts. We'll see about that. At least that's potentially the plan. We are not changing anything in here. Actually, yes, we are changing professional army. I don't need that anymore. I might actually pick up retainers for now. We're not building wonders at the moment. So we could pick up retainers temporarily to get a little bit of extra amenities. Urban planning is probably not worth it at this point. I don't think it is. Let's just go with retainers for now. So next up in civics. I don't need a naval tradition right now. What we need is medieval farms and then exploration. Yep, let's work on that. I don't think I'll be boasting medieval farms in the nearest future. That's not gonna happen. Also, let's use the trader. What's the best available trade route we got right now? This one, probably. Yeah, this looks pretty good. One production, seven gold, one size, one culture. I like that. What's our current trade route? This one here. Okay. Yeah, just send it from the capital then. That's good enough. University. Obviously, we want that. We also want a Gurdwara. Oh yeah, and we can fight by another settler right now. Let's do that. No, not yet. One more turn. Okay, let's start working on the university. The swordsman actually backed off. Interesting. Another city. Plus three era score. Nice. We will get at least a normal age. Now we can grab the quarry right here and sell that to somebody right away. Who's buying? Okay, this is a decent enough deal. 45 gold and 9 gold per turn. That is definitely a good deal. And granary first. Granary, then monument. But we will lose the bonus, unfortunately. Let's maybe buy one tile to grow this city. I don't think I'll want to switch to land surveyors right now. Yeah, no, let's keep retainers. Just buy one of these tiles to get more food. And it's a very nice tile in general. Just hard lock it. And we can explore a bit more. I can probably kill that galley because I can repair myself. Just need to move away from it. Oh, he moved away from me. Okay, that's fine. Now we can repair over here. So move that crossbowman out for a moment. Then we can transfer to another city. 
over here. There you go, remove the maze, and then we'll remove another maze. That's the plan. Trade route. Here you go. We can also get the alliance. Which alliance do I actually want? Korea is leading in science. What a surprise. We could pick up a cultural alliance, actually, which is not a terrible idea. Yeah, let's go with the cultural alliance. Here you go. And in theory, I could actually settle a city somewhere close to him. Yeah, maybe like over here or here. That might be worth considering. This would be a decent city. There is a barbarian camp over here. This would be a better Petra city than the one we were looking at earlier, because it has at least three desert hills. So perhaps I'll consider that. We'll see. No promises. But I might consider it. Anyway, fight by the settler. That will be the city to the west. We got quite a few cities now. And it's still only turn 114. We are still pretty early into this game. Still plenty of time left. Alright, so remove the maze. First, let's check our research queue. So let's get the military engineering to reveal Niter. Then stirrups. And in civics, yeah, we already got what we want queued up. Okay, three turns to reveal Niter. Hopefully we have some. We might as well finish this aqueduct, and then we'll start the industrial zone after. Oh yeah, right, we still want to teleport with Anansi. So now we want to go here. Oh yeah, now the barbarians are coming, good. He'll remove the maze, and then he can help fight the barbarians. He can help get rid of that barbarian camp. Let's kill this scout. He should have done it other way around. Alright, that's fine. You're going west. Holy Sight next, we don't want more fate. I still want to spread my religion to some of my other cities, but I was using fate for settlers. As you know. Plus four Arascor, very nice. Oh yeah, that's my unique building. Fair enough. Uh, no, that's not quite what I wanted. It's fine though. Okay. What's next? Gurdwara, five turns. Where do I want the industrial zone for my capital? Maybe I should use the other charge from Anansi here. It's not going to be an amazing industrial zone. I don't really have a lot of options. Honestly, I might just have to go for this location. Or like this one. This one would be okay. In theory, I could have a quarry over here in the future. I could still have a city somewhere to the north. There's a good chance there's oil somewhere to the north. So really, it's not a terrible idea. That way I would also save the mine. It's not going to be an amazing industrial zone one way or the other. But I think I like this spot. So okay, this spot is fine. It was a fair bit of gold, but we can afford it. People are still buying iron. Eh, no, apparently not. Apparently not. How about some diplomatic favor? Canada? 21 gold. That's okay. Let's sell some. We are getting 4 per turn. As for Taumoto, I need to think about where these industrial zones are going to be. But we can start building the aqueduct. So let's just do that. You're going west. Oh, whoops, my bad. Right, so let's teleport over here. Remove the maze and then go fight the barbarians. We still got 14 turns left on Anansi. That should be enough time to help against the barbarian camp. I could just embark and then disembark over here. Literally right next to the barbarian camp. Let's see if we have Niter. Because I might change my settling plans depending on whether we have Niter or not and where exactly. Now, I don't want a harbor in this city. Let's just grab it. 
maybe over here because then our other city can have a harbor here. Can it though? Well, no, it can't because this style is directly adjacent to the city center. Still, let's have one on the west side. Doesn't exactly make a huge difference, but it does make a slight difference in case I want to build some coastal wonders with this city. Because then we could have a harbor here. Yeah, no, it doesn't actually make a difference. It's a minimal difference. Either way, let's just build a harbor. We do want more harbors. Remove the maze. Make some space for a district. This will complete military engineering. Okay, everything is queued up properly. I am not waiting to get four trade routes, because that will take too long. Alright, where's Niter? We have at least one, because I can see the notification. We settled on top of Niter. Okay, that's perfect. Where else do we have Niter? Because one source is really not that much. I wouldn't mind a second one somewhere. 13! Okay, that's a lot. Oh, right here. I was planning to settle right here. Okay. I will probably do that then. And it looks like England settled right on top of Niter. Good for them. Oh, we got three sources up here. Wow. Well then. I will probably settle over there. It's worth it just for the money we'll get for selling it. It's definitely worth it. So that means I might want to move Magnus back. We can probably fade by a settler sometime soon. Okay, let's move Magnus back. And then we'll fade by a settler. It's not going to be an amazing city in that Petra, in that Tundra terrain. Yes, Petra. I'm thinking too much about Petra. But yeah, it's not going to be an amazing city. But I could potentially build the Amundsen Squad Research Station here in the future. And it's definitely worth it just for the gold from Niter sales. So I'm still doing it. I need to think about the exact tile I'll want it on. But we're definitely doing it. However, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it to denounce the YouTube algorithm as its tradition. And uh, I'll see you next time.